Ja, yeah, well, uh, it's a cow. To, uh, because we won the team classification yesterday, the stage. We all, uh, we all got a cow, and uh, we got a towel. Another small cow. Let me see. Uh, I just, uh, just received the orange jersey for the best Dutch, te Dutch team. who thought they had a chance for this stage win will probably be disappointed as the sprinters won't just settle for the Champs-Élysées stage. The weather is rainy today between Montbourguet and Bergerac when a group of five men breaks from the pack. The peloton ends up chasing the escapees to make the bridge just a few kilometers from the finish line. Tom Slachter makes an attack on his own 30 kilometers to the arrival. He doesn't go very far but his teammate Navadoskas joins him and even rides further to the front. Inevitably, with the rain and nervousness, a crash puts many riders to the ground, including Romain Bardet and Peter Sagan. With the bunch completely divided, it becomes easier for Navadoskas to take the stage win, closely followed by a mini bunch of sprinters. Degen Kolb, Christoph and Rancho are the happy finishers. Everybody was on the ground and uh, I was in the middle of it. And uh, yeah, I wasn't in the crash, I wasn't on the ground, so yeah, I, was, I was lucky. Yeah, we knew it before that it will be hectic. A 13k uh, for the finish line, that was a small mountain. And also with narrow roads uh, until the last 7k. And then we knew we had to be in front there. And also with the rain, it was uh, the roads were slippery. And then I was surprised there were no crashes until the last 3k. This just 100 meters after the 3k sign was a big crash. And then it's also, yeah, then almost everyone stopped pedaling because when there is a crash in the last 3k, then every rider get the same time who was in that group. It's slippery uh, the last kilometers and I was in a good position. Uh, the crash was right next to me. It was only uh, the in call between me and the crash, so I was pretty lucky. A lot of hectic uh, with all the rain and uh, at a few moments you couldn't see anything anymore. And uh, it was really dangerous in the peloton, but I felt good and then it's always easier.